Next tonight, we turn to that scare over the so-called Havana syndrome, actually delaying Vice President Kamala Harris's Asia trip for a time, delaying her arrival in Vietnam by more than three hours after the U.S. Embassy in Hanoi reported a possible case. Tonight here, more on what this Havana syndrome is, and here's ABC's Stephanie Ramos. Tonight, Vice President Kamala Harris has landed in Vietnam after her flight was delayed over a, quote, possible anomalous health incident in Hanoi. Madam Vice President, why did you continue your trip? The reported incident affected a staffer at the U.S. mission in Vietnam in recent days. Allegedly, an incident of Havana syndrome, the mysterious onset of symptoms like headache, earache, nausea, and trouble seeing or balancing. Cases were first reported by American personnel in Havana, Cuba in 2016 and 2017, many of them diagnosed with traumatic brain injuries. Since then, dozens of U.S. officials in multiple countries have reported symptoms. Can you share more about the possible possible incident of Havana syndrome that delayed the vice president's trip? Well, this is not a confirmed case at this point in time. We take any reported incident, which was recent and was reported publicly, I will note, quite seriously. Uh, as a result, um, there was an assessment done of the safety of the vice president, uh, and there was a decision made that she could continue travel along with her staff. There are now more than 130 possible cases of Havana syndrome, including in China and Russia. The White House is investigating the cause.